and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create this neon outline. Combines a couple of methods that I've already shown you in my GIMP playlist. At first we've got this image and we need to copy it. The one below I want to make black and white. So let me make the one on top invisible. I go to colors, use saturation and simply desaturate it. Let's go to the top one again. Now I need the path tool to create an outline. At first just go over it with a left click and once you've arrived at the starting point hold control, left click and close your path. Afterwards you can hover over these lines, left click and drag them to create your curves. You will get these handles and you can adjust them, click on them. And this should give it the right angle. As always the more time you put in such an outline, the better results will look. But for me this is just an example, so I'll go over it. Not too much in detail. Now I'm quite happy with this one, right click, select from path, so we've got this shape now selected, right click on your copy layer and then use a layer mask, make sure that it's selection active, we've got black and white, as a foreground background color, we're going to use that later on, and now you can see the background is black and white, the model in the forefront is colored. There's a little bit of an issue on top, we'll have to take care of that. But let us first create our outline. We'll need a new layer. I'll call that outline, it's transparent. I'll first make it the inner outline. I want it to be white. So I flip the colors and then I click on stroke path. But at first let me grow it a little bit. So I go to select, grow. And maybe like two pixels or something. This is going to grow the selection. And now I click on stroke path. Foreground color is white. I've got stroke lines selected. And let me try a line width of 5 pixels. That should be good for my canvas size. Let me create a new layer for the outer outline. And again it's transparent. I'll click on a color swatch and let me make it maybe blue. You could pick whatever you want.
and again stroke path, but maybe I'll grow it a little bit further, just slightly. I'll go to 5 pixels for this one, now stroke path. And now let me try 20 pixels, or maybe that was too big. I'll press Ctrl Z, stroke path again, and I make it 15. So it selects the foreground color, which is now blue. So we're good here. The outer is now on top of the inner, so we'll have to bring it one step down in the order in the layers menu. Well, let me rename that so that you know. The inner one is white, the outer one is blue. I go to select and none. Now let's take care of this part up here. I'll select the layer mask. It's important to not select the layer, but the layer mask. We need a black foreground color. Use a brush and make the hardness 100. And then you can paint over this. I've got a size of 4, so it's small enough for me. And this makes the colored layer, so the copy layer, invisible in these parts, so that the black and white layer shines through. We go with this one. So let's get back to our blue and white layer. At first the white one, I go to Filters, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Check the preview. Don't go too high. For the inner one you want to go to a value of maybe like 1, 2. It should be fine. Let's go to the blue one, the outer one, I will show the Gaussian Blur. And here you can go up to like 10, sometimes even 15. I'm happy with a value of 7 to 8. I keep that. And this gives you this typical neon glow effect as an outline. So it's a multi-step process, but it's fairly easy to do in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.